Well, I'm gonna switch gears here today and then uh, look, try to make a door handle for my front door. Um, I got a couple of sticks in my boot here. Those are some ash. That was some dead ash. I think if I use dry pins and then I use a live handle, uh, in theory, that live handle should shrink a little bit around uh, the pins I'm gonna put through the door. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. Um, probably will end up putting a screw in it anyway, but if I can make screw this, that'd be kind of cool. Um, but this is a hop horn bean tree, I guess. Uh, that's one of the names for it. It's the hardest uh, tree we have around here, hard to cut through. Um, but I think it'll make a great door handle once I shave it down. Get that back to the cabin and get started on that little project. There's a chimney in progress. I somehow ordered a wrong connector piece, so I'm gonna go to the hardware store. Hopefully they have it. Pick that up later. That's a beaut. Think this vice has seen better days? I don't know if you can see it, but it got beat up by cutting those tenons. I'm gonna go cut these with the chop saw. Get them straight on the ends and then uh, Put a hole through them, try to hang them, try to mount them. Heat. <laughs> well, she's burning nice and hot now. Um, I'm gonna leave the do windows and doors open for a while. Um, let the paint smell burn off um, and then uh, work on my door handle, but I think it might be the perfect stove for this little setup. On the flu, it says it's burning just under 400. Um, I don't think I ever discussed, again, <laughs> some change in decisions. Um, so I'll just let you know about that. Obviously, you see my stove sitting down low to the floor. Um, and I had built that, that rack for it. But uh, once I put it there and I had the piping, everything kind of lined up for it to be sitting down. 
uh, a low and my wife liked the look of it and she's right again. Um, I think it's going to be better. Uh, there is some indecision about whether to do a little tile pad there or to put a piece of slate under it. Um, I'm thinking slate. She likes the tile pad. Uh, these pegs after I use the bit I had turned out to be a little small so I gotta go find some different pegs. And they're good for something though. Well, that's what I came up with for a cabin handle. A little tweaking to do. Um, I actually was looking online quite a bit, trying to find something rustic and that would fit. It was in black, but there's just there wasn't anything I could find really. So I'm actually glad I went with just this. I did get a ordered a bolt latch that'll be on there too. But yeah, I think that fits a log cabin. So I'm glad I couldn't find anything. No, that thing's in there pretty good. I don't I probably would glue it, but I don't think it's going anywhere. I think I found a pie hole. Yo! Hey, I like it. Thinking about using that for just in my shop from leftover from when we bought the place. So I spray painted them black. Ended up it didn't do anything because when you hit them with the hammer, the black comes off anyway. But um, they left that cool design. So I was thinking about putting that um, behind my fireplace or my heat shield behind my fireplace. Uh, we'll see if it works out or what it looks like, but I just thought it would be kind of cool because they were used in the cabin and then their design sitting there. Um, so we'll try that out, see what it looks like. Okay, well, it's a Friday here. Uh, I'm gonna end the episode right there. We did the stove um, and the door handles, so it'll be a shorter episode this time. And I just uh, decided on this heat shield. Hopefully my wife likes it. Otherwise I can just flip it around. So I uh, made a little design on there. We'll see if that sticks. Maybe I'll do all black with just the silver nails showing first, so almost black out with just a little silver. That might 
go better. So we'll take it. We'll we'll try that out on Monday and see how that looks. Anyways, coming along, heat feels great. So pipe seems to be working good. Um, couldn't be happier. Got to get that base done. We need to do a cable railing still, and then the big job of chinking, a little bit of interior trim work. Um, man, coming right along. So a few things I'm probably forgetting, but. We're getting right down to it, so thanks for watching.